Hi everyone, I'm John Oden on the development team here at Boson Software. What I'd like to do over the course of the next few minutes is give you a hands-on demonstration of our new release of our Boson NetSim network simulator, Boson NetSim 9. Now for those of you that have not seen NetSim before, NetSim is a software product that gives you the experience of working with a rack of Cisco iOS based routers and switches right on your desktop or laptop computer. In addition to the simulation aspect of NetSim, NetSim comes with a wide array of lab exercises that will give you a path to follow to meet your learning objectives. So to get started with Boson NetSim, you'll need to go to our website, boson.com, and set up an account if you don't already have one. And once you've done that, then you can go to the NetSim product page, and you'll see more information about NetSim, but you'll also see a download link right over here. And you can click on that, and NetSim will download. Then you can launch the installer, run through the installation wizard, and after you've done that, you'll see a Boson NetSim 9 shortcut on your desktop, just like I have here. The first time you launch NetSim, there'll be an activation wizard that will display. And it is at this point that you could enter an activation code to unlock the full product if you've purchased one. Or you can continue in demo mode. When in demo mode, you have access to the full NetSim user interface, but you only have access to a limited number of lab exercises. We're going to go through this in demo mode here in this video, and you can do the same thing. And I'm going to work through one of the demo lab exercises. But first, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the NetSim user interface and show you how to find your way around. So I have selected to run in demo mode. Of course, you can always come back and enter your activation key later after you've made your purchase of NetSim. So you can start in demo mode and activate it later. So we've made the choice to run in demo mode. I'm going to click Next here. And in order to continue, I'm going to have to put in my email address and password. And that's the same email address and password that you use to log on to your Boson Online account. So with my email address and password entered, I'm going to go ahead and click Next. The demo will activate, and this only has to be done one time. Once you've activated the demo once, it will remain activated. And as I mentioned later, you can come back and enter the activation code that you've purchased to unlock the full version of NetSim. I have now launched Boson NetSim, and one of the first things you'll notice if you've used prior versions is the completely redesigned user interface. There are a number of improvements that you can see, some that you can't see. Uh, overall, there is a much better user experience. Labs load faster. We have enhanced the grading engine. We've done some things to help maximize the use of multiple monitors, which I'll show you when we get just a little bit further into the demo. And let me also reiterate that everything that I'm going to be showing you in this demo, as well as any of the other demo videos that we do, is that you can go to our website and download, and you'll be able to do everything that I'm doing here in these videos, which is a good way to get some hands-on experience with NetSim before you actually make a purchase. The NetSim user interface is composed of several different screens, and each screen has a number of sliding panels that you can use to optimize the display for your needs. This is the home screen, which is the screen that appears when you first launch NetSim. You can see there's a, a divider here that I can move back and forth to, uh, to split the amount of space that's available for the left side of the screen and the right side. Some of the other windows that we'll be interested in, probably the one that we'll spend the most time talking about, is the Labs window. And there are other windows for the Network Designer and the Lab Compiler, and we'll get to those two just a little bit later. But let me first direct your attention to the Labs window. And this is where you can see all of the content that is included with the version of NetSim that you have. Now, remember, this is the demo version of NetSim. So the only labs that I have access to here are the four demo labs up here at the top of the tree. Now, you can see all of the other labs that are included with the various versions of the product, but they are locked until you purchase and enter an activation key that unlocks those labs. So let me just scroll down here and let you see how many labs there are available in the various versions of NetSim. You can see the ICND-1 and ICND-2 labs for CCNA studies. There's, uh, there's a lot of those. And then we'll get down into the labs for route switch and t-shoot for CCNP studies. And there are some supplemental labs. And these are mostly deprecated technologies that used to be covered in an exam, but may no longer be. But it's still good information that we continue to include with the product. So there are, there are a couple of hundred labs there, probably more than that, with the CCNP version 
of the product and somewhat less than that for the CSENT and CCNA versions of the product. You can go to bosun.com and click on NetSim and you'll see a breakdown of all of the technologies that are covered in the CSENT, CCNA, and CCNP versions of NetSim. Presently, the right side of my user interface for NetSim is pretty much empty and that's because I don't currently have a lab loaded into the simulator. So if I wanted to load a lab, it's simply a matter of going over to the lab tree and selecting the lab that I'm interested in and just giving it a double click. And I'm going to do that with the first demo lab. This is the configuration demo lab number one. So I'm going to give it a double click. And after the lab loads, the user interface starts to get a little bit more interesting. So let's talk about some of the things that we see. Once again, let me remind you that all of these elements are organized using a, a series of sliding panels. So you can move this back and forth to allocate different amounts of the screen to the various components of the user interface that, uh, that you're interested in. So over here on the left, this is the lab tree. We've seen this already. We click on any lab and we get a description down here at the bottom that tells us a little bit about what that lab does. Right now we have the configuration demo number one lab loaded. And once it loads, we can see that there is a lab document that will tell us some information about the lab. It will set forth the objective. What is it that we're going to try to accomplish during the lab? We'll get information about the simulated network topology that we'll be using in the lab. You can see that there as I scroll past. We'll get information about the various commands that we're going to need to be able to use to carry out the objectives of the lab some IP address tables that show us which IP addresses need to be configured on which interfaces of which devices and so on. And as we go down further, then we start to get into the lab tasks that walk us through the various configurations that we're going to need to do in order to be able to configure the devices to meet the objectives of the lab. I mentioned earlier that there are a couple of things that we can do to maximize our use of multiple monitors or a large monitor if you have one. I'm limited to a pretty small space here just due to the recording dimensions of this video, so, uh, so things are a little bit tight. But what I can do with this lab document, I can launch it into an external viewer using a shortcut key. And you can see now it's, it's, it's in its own window and I can drag it around to another monitor and get it out of the way. I'm going to put it over here on my other monitor that you can't see. And then that reveals the net map. And the net map is a, a graphical representation of the simulated topology that's loaded into NetSim at this moment. And you can see you'll recognize that from the lab document. I can scroll up and down and see that we've got a couple of routers connected with the serial link. We've got a couple of switches on the LAN side of each router and we've got a couple of workstations, PC workstations connected to each switch to, uh, to make up something that you could consider maybe a couple of offices that are connected via a WAN link of some kind. So that's up in the top portion of the screen. The bottom portion of the screen is the console window and this gives us access to the command line interface of the devices. You can think of this as the same experience that you would get if you had a, a terminal software running on your notebook computer with a console cable connected to a device. That's exactly the same experience that you're getting here. You can see as I tap the enter key, I'm getting the command line interface responding back, in this case from router A. If I wanted to work with any of the other devices, I can just go up here into the net map. I can right click and choose configure and simulator. And now I've got a console for router B. So I can very easily interact with the console of router A. I could then go to router B and do some stuff there. Another way that you could open up additional console windows is from the drop down list. If I pull this drop down, I can see that every device in the simulated network topology is represented here. And if I wanted to get a command console for PC1, I can just click on that in the list. And now I have the command prompt for PC1. And that's just another way to do the same thing. Another great new feature of NetSim 9 is that now, just as you've seen that I launched the lab documentation into an external viewer, I can do the same thing with the net map. I'm going to go to the main menu and choose to launch the external net map viewer. And now I've got the ability to take my net map and it's still interactive. I could still click on it if I wanted to interact with another device. I can, can do it just like what you saw before. And now I've got console windows open for router A, router B, switch B, and PC1. And notice now that I can make the screen almost totally consumed via the, the, the command window for the console. Now that I've got the net map viewer, out of the way over on the other monitor alongside 
with my lab documents. So NetSim 9 is, uh, is very friendly to a multi-monitor environment and gives you the ability to take advantage of that extra space and extra room. Let me touch back upon something that I mentioned earlier in the video. Remember that we are using NetSim in demo mode here where we have access to the full user interface but only a subset of demo labs and a subset of commands will, that will work with those labs. And this allows you to get some hands-on experience with NetSim and, uh, and check it out and take it for a spin. And if you decide that you want to unlock the CSINT or the CCNA or the CCNP version of NetSim, you can go to our website and, and log in and, and go through the purchase process and you'll get an activation key which you can then bring back to NetSim and go up on the main menu and choose help and then activation keys and you can paste in the key that you received off of the e-commerce portion of our website and then you can turn the demo version of NetSim into a fully functional version according to whether you purchase the CSINT, CCNA or CCNP version. Okay, so that's a quick look around the user interface of NetSim. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up now. Thanks for stopping by to take a look and spend a few minutes getting familiar with NetSim. In our next video, we'll actually get into the lab and start working through some of the configurations. So thank you for watching. Be sure and check us out on the web at bosun.com.